UV Beast 365 nanometer versus UV Beast 385 nanometer? What is the difference between 365 nanometer and 385 nanometer? It's very simple. I'll visually show you what the difference is. I also wanted to say I've been super busy lately, so I haven't been able to get my videos out as quickly as I'd like. So please be patient with me. UV Beast video starts now. Shoots! All right, let's go. Please don't forget to subscribe. Okay, so this is the UV Beast 365 nanometer, and this one here is the UV Beast 385 nanometer. They both pretty much look similar to one another, built with aerospace graded aluminum. The 365 nanometer has a filter, so it'll block out most of the visible light. The 385 nanometer doesn't have a filter, so you'll get more visible light leakage, which shouldn't matter to you if you're a fan of the UV Beast V2, the one with 100 LEDs. They both have three high-powered UV LEDs installed. I won't go too much into the tech details. If you want full tech details, I have videos on both of these UV flashlights. In those videos, I also go over what it all comes with the UV flashlight. I'll leave a link in the description box below. So, what's the difference between 365 nanometer and 385 nanometer? Well, let's check it out, shall we? Can you spot the difference? The 365 nanometer has a little to no visible light leakage, whereas the 385 nanometer has a purple visible light leakage. Can you tell? If you want to go more in depth on the differences, then please check out any difference between 365 nanometer and 400 nanometer videos I have down below. If you're looking to use the UV Beast to charge your glow-in-the-dark paint, I would definitely go with the 365 nanometer because the charge tends to last longer. Also, if you're using luminescent paint, you'll see the true fluorescent color, especially when you use the invisible luminescent paint. You definitely need true UV at 365 nanometers for any invisible luminescent paint. Are you looking for minerals or rocks that fluoresce with a UV flashlight? I would definitely go with the 365 nanometer because just like with the luminescent paint, you won't get the true colors from the rocks with a 385 nanometer. I guess you can use both if you want to see two different colors on the rocks. What about scorpions? Can't go wrong with either, although you might want to go with the extra visible light from the 385 nanometer. If you're searching for scorpions outside, well you'll need a little bit more visible light to see other things in complete darkness. So this is about 20 feet away. So which UV beast are you going to go with? Let me know down in the comments below. I have more UV flashlights I need to test. So hopefully I'll be able to get to them quicker for you guys. So please stay tuned. Also, if you're new here, please consider subscribing and hit that bell notification for future Blacklight content. Thank you for watching. Mahalo.